Hi guys, today I'm going to show you various methods of solid mesh sheet in workshop 8. Right, we have workshop objectives. Become familiar with creating an X and a TED mesh. For this workshop, four models of the same system are to be created as X8, X20, a, a TED4, and TED10. Right, we have key concepts and steps that you already know and let's start with this Click OK. Then import a part solid, solid, and change views. I have the solid, for example, file, import, select look, and click apply. Click OK. This is my solid. You can use uh, whatever solid you have in your uh, situation. Well, select ISO first view icon. There you go. And then uh, rename the group, default group, group, modify, click rename, enter X8 for a new name and click apply. OK. Create points that will be used later to create several breaking planes. First, you go geometry, create, point, extract, and make sure that the parametric position is set to 0 0.5 and always turn the auto execute off. And then shift click the edges, the two edges that make up the other radius of the solid and one of the vague edges and click apply like this. Increase point size. <clears throat> create two planes that will be used for breaking the solid. Alright, geometry, create, plane, two points, click on the point one, list, select the first point for the first plane, then select the other two points. Note, we auto execute on the mouth focus shanks to the next line automatically. Alright, select next two points to create the second plane. Uh, by the step 6, break the solid using the newly created planes. Geometry, edit, solid, and break. Option plane, turn off auto execute, select the loo, solid 1 for solid list, and plane 2 for break plane list. <coughs> Sorry. Click apply and click yes when message appears. Select lower and upper solids for solid list, and plane 1 for break plane list.
Repeat the step E and, and F using plane 1 as the break in plane, as that I said. Alright, then create group sheet 4, enter slate, then you only create solids into, into it, position, but models. Go group, create, enter chat 4, under new group name, click apply, then cancel. Geometry, transform, solid, translate, enter, uh, 0, minus 10, 0 for direction vector. Select all four solids in group X8 and click apply. Then create group to 10 and translate the solids into it. Group, create, enter to 10 for next group and click apply and cancel. Geometry, transform, solid, translate, enter 15 minus 10 zero for direction vector select all four solids and click apply There you go, you have three groups. Then, pause just group X8 to facilitate creation of the solid needed for creation of X elements. <coughs> so, group pause, select group X8, click apply, then cancel, click fit view icon. Change the view using the icon eyes of first view. Create five points that will be used to create several planes. Alright, to create these points, we need to go to geometry, create, point, extract.
and make sure parametric position is set to 3.5 shift shift at select 5 edges 4 edges that make up the lower half of the lock hole and an edge at the base of the solid <clears throat> and then click apply Create points at the center of the hole of the loop. Geometry create point arc center. And turn out of execute off and shift click to edges that make up the hole of the loo and click apply then create two more planes that will be used to break the solids geometry create plane two points Select two points that defina, define sorry, a plane and it will automatically be created. Select the next three points for the next plane. Break the solids again, this time using the newly created planes. So go geometry, edit, solid, break, select bottom left version of solid. For example, solid 6 and break along plane 3. Then click apply. Click yes when message appears. Select bottom right portion of solid, solid 7 and break along plane 4. And repeat it again uh, 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 as for solid 6 and plane 3. Now create the last point that will be used to create one more plane. Geometry create point 
project select the point at the bottom end of the slope edge where it intersects with the base on the point list select edge normal to the hole on the curve list then apply Then you go Geometry, Create, Plane, Two Points. Select two points along the base of the solid and point from projection. Then apply. Break a solid one final time using the recently created plane. Geometry, a ditch, solid, break. Option, plane. Select solid at bottom right, solid, in my case, a 19 for solid list. So select plane 5 for break and plane list. Click apply and click yes when message appears. Delete the two top solids as they are not to be used for ISO mesh meshing. Delete the five planes as they are no longer needed. Reduce the size of the point circle markers. So to do this, go geometry uh, and uh, delete by action and object solid. Select the two top solids. In my case, solid four and solid five. Click apply and geometry delete plane. Uh, select all five planets line one from one to five click apply and decrease the size of the point markers
Refit the fifth fifth solid so that they uh, become parametric blue solid. They can be iso mesh. So go geometry, edit, solid, refit, option to try cubic net, enter one of all of the refit parameters, select delete original solid, select the five solids. In my case, solid six to from sixty to eighteen and twenty and twenty and twenty one, and click just when first mesh appears and just for all when second meshes appear and display the solid levels. All right, and mirror solids. All right, finishing creating all the geometry by mirroring the five parametric solids, producing a completed parametric model. All right, first increase the size of the point markers. Then geometry, go geometry, then transform, an action, an object, a uh, solid, and mirror. Select the three points for the plane. Icon for the fine mirror plane normal. Select any three points that lie in the plane in figure. Make sure the reverse solids box is shaken. Select all the solids, in my case solid 22, from 22 to, to 26. Then create the group X20 and translate the geometry. Group, you go group, create, enter X20 for new group name, click apply and cancel.
Geometry, go geometry, transform, solid, and translate, enter 15, 0, 0 for direction vector. Select all 10 solids and click apply. Then you go group, post, click select all, click apply, then cancel. Specify front view. Click fit view icon and reduce size of point markers. On display solid levels. And there you go, the four, uh, the four all groups. Then create a coordinate system. Create a cylindrical coordinate system for the X8 model. This coordinate frame will be later be used to apply radial pressure. It is not necessary to create coordinate frame for the other models using this step because this coordinate frame will later be translated to the other two models. So. First geometry, create, curved, entry point, type, cylindrical, and select three points as indicated.
Then mesh solids for the X8 and X20 groups using ISO mesh. Go group post select the select the X8 group. Click apply. Then cancel. Go element. Create mesh solid, select X, ISO mesh, and X8. Remove check for automatic calculation and enter 0.5 for global edge length. Select the X8 geometry and click apply. And repeat steps uh, uh, for posting the X20 group and selecting X20 and instead of X8 for the topology and applying it to the X20 geometry. Now create the final two meshes for the remaining models. So go group both, select the tit fourth group, click apply, then cancel. Elements create mesh solid, select tet, tet mesh and tet four. Select the four geometry and my case solid thirty five from thirty five to thirty eight for the input list. Remove shake for automatic calculation and enter 0.5 for global edge length. Click on assembly parameters and click on mesh parallel solid faces. Then select all the teeth for solids again and click close. Click apply. Repeat and repeat it uh, for posting the the ten group.
Post all four groups and observe the element free edges. Go group post, select all four groups, click apply, then cancel, elements, verify, element, boundaries, click apply. And then elements equivalence, all tolerance cube, click apply, elements, verify, element, boundaries, click apply. In order to create the loads and boundary conditions, the cylindrical coordinator system for the X8 model must be translated to the remaining models. So, geometry, transform, core, translate, and enter 1500 for direction vector. Select core 1 for coordinate frame list. And repeat it uh, using core 3 and 4 using 0 minus 10, 0 for direction vector. Create a field for each virtual loading. So click on the smooth shed icon. Fields create a special PCL function. Enter. Sin pressure x8 for file name.
uh, field name, sorry. Select core 1 for coordinate system, enter, uh, scene, R, um, G for its color function and click apply. So create three more file fields, sorry, fields by following a step a step C show E. So you need to to have field name, uh, for example, scene pressure x8 using core one, and then scene pressure x20 using core two. <coughs> sorry, then scene pressure t4 using core three. Scene pressure to 10 using chord 4. and there should be four different fields then create four pressures one for each model using the created fields loads create pressure element uniform Enter X8 for new set name. Click on click on input data. Enter 1000 under load, set the scale, scale vector under pressure, select scene pressure x8 from a spatial fields, and then click OK. Specify the application region for the pressure. Click on select application region, shift click the four faces as indicated and click add. Click OK and click apply. And we're gonna repeat the step uh, for the remaining three pressures, stemming in on, in on each model as needed. And after all four pressures are created, click the Fit View icon to show all the models. Right? Then we have to create constraints on each model with just one constraint set. So we go to uh, loads 
load, create, displacement, nodal, enter constraint for new set name, click Input data, enter 0, 0, 0 for donations only, click OK, click selection ratio. Click the surface or face icon, shift click the back faces of all the models and click add and then OK and click apply And as you as you can see, you can uh, 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 the solid is showing all the forces acting on it. So then, all right, create the material properties for the models. So go uh, materials, create isotropic, manual input, enter aluminium for material name. Click input properties. So enter ten e six and 0 0.3 for the elastic modules and position uh, ratio. Click OK and click Apply. Then create the element properties using one property set. So go properties, create 3D solid, enter solid for property set name, click input properties, click on mat prop name icon and select aluminium. Click OK for application version, select all solids and click add. Click apply. Then check the low case default to ensure that all the pressure loads and the constraint have been included. So go load cases, modify, click on load case name default, make sure all the loads and constraints are listed and then click cancel. So run the analysis by submitting the model to MSC Nestrand. So uh, 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 so go analyze, 
analyze the entire model. Uh, in my case, I will put um, analysis deck. Uh, so click translation parameters. Make sure that X, D, B, and print is selected for data output, and click OK. And I I will put it on small. And click on solution type. Make sure linear static is selected and click OK. Then click apply. Read and compare the, res the results for the four models. First, attach the XDB file. Analyze, access results, attach XDB, result entities, click select result file, select log, and click OK. And then click apply. Create a deformation plot of all four models. It will be difficult to see the deformation with the undeformed shape and geometry poses, so unpause both. Results create deformation, select displacement, trans select displacement transitional, and click apply. Click on the display attributes icon, remove check from show on the former and show title and click apply. Click on plot errors icon, click errors under geometry and click OK. And there you go, you can see the four solids as deformation parameters. Plot the bound misses stress for each of the models. So results, create, fringe, select a stress tensor and both and bond misses. Click apply. And as you can see, here the deformed shape plotted with the bond misses stress. 
So not that not that it is some somewhat difficult making a comparison between each of the models because each model is referenced to the same color bar. Throughout the next series of steps, uh, each model will be assigned to an individual viewport. This will allow for much easier comparisons between each model. So let's do it. So modify the current viewport and create two others. Viewport modify, click rename, enter X8, under rename as, click apply, then cancel, viewport, create, enter X20 and click apply. And repeat it for TED4 and TED10. Click cancel and viewport tile. And repeat it for, for each viewport. So uh, at final, uh, you can see the four the four elements of the four solids uh, uh, with the corresponding model and results. So each having a maximum stress value indicated. Note the the similarity between results for the X meshes and the T10 mesh. The T4 mesh model is very in inaccurate. The T mesh is a very convenient approach because it, it is not necessary to break up the solid into many parts, unlike the isomesh technique. So that's it for all. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you wanna watch more videos about this, about Patran and Austran, uh, you can subscribe our channel uh, and and that's it and thank you very much.